the uh, the developing news within the last hour or so that Steve Wilkes is going to the sideline. That would be my prediction. I actually I, I got something for you. I did some some research. Good. And I think that Chase Young, uh, combined with um, a group that's been ripped for two weeks and is now going to come back rested, I think that the 49er defense is going to play really, really well this week. And therefore, people are going to go, see, Steve Wilkes on the <laughs> right, sideline. Right. That was the magic elixir, even though that's not going to be the main reason. But look, there's a bigger conversation to be had. I think it's obvious, isn't it? If Kyle Shanahan is going to use the bye to do sort of a deep dive on his team and the defense, and this is one of the changes he came out with, and this comes right on the heels of the defense having poor performances and him calling out Steve Wilkes in multiple press conferences after the game against Minnesota. If you're going to have all that happen in three weeks, I'm having a hard time feeling like everything is all on the same page. We'll see this weekend. It is the start of the after the bye 49ers, which we know is much better than the before the bye yep. 49ers. It so, has been of late. Yeah, yeah, so that's great. It has been under Shanahan in, in total. So that's great. Um, and, and, and I expect them to come out and look better again. But until we see that, I'm going to have a hard time believing that all is well with the 49ers coaching staff. This is a whole lot of tinkering and talking that we're not used to from this staff. Well, it's tinkering and talking that needed to happen because you lost three in a row and your defense has not been the same defense it was through the first five weeks. And you can point to the Ram game, and you're right in that the the turnover that kind of turned that game was a little bit fluky. But other than that, you were dominant the first five games of the season. The last three, not so much, even though if that kick goes in against Cleveland, if Moody makes an easy field goal, then you're sitting here at six and two and you're less worried than you are at five and three with a three game losing streak. We know that, but we also know that you're heading to Jacksonville in a 10 a.m. game in an, another road game. And this is not an easy spot for the Niners to come out of a bye. Jacksonville comes out of a bye. Niners come out of a bye. So you don't have an advantage. And in fact, you have a disadvantage having to go on the road for this game. Um, that's true. Like there's that rest advantage stat. And I think the 49ers are at the biggest disadvantage at least so far in the whole NFL. No, all year. And they will be at the end of the year. But Minus it's been, 20. But it's been excessive of late. Sure. They had two games against teams coming off of a bye. But this week... No They're playing edge. against a team coming off a bye, though. But so are they. But you're supposed to have the edge. This is where no, when they you have, come off your bye, right. you normally would have the edge Correct. against a team not coming off right. their bye. But them too. Right. They would like a, an advantage coming off a bye, and they won't get it. But the Niners have two or three other games in which they play teams who are coming off a bye. So you're hoping for a get back, and you don't get the get back. You're a minus 20 in terms of days of rest all year. And uh, this is one where you would normally get it back towards zero, but you don't. And you mix in travel and you add to the fact that you're playing against the hottest team in football. Um, wonder what everyone's reaction is to the Steve Wilkes news. 888-957-957. He's coming down to the sideline to save the day. I love that we call this news. I, I know it, it is. is. I know it is news, but the fact that a defensive coordinator is going to be on the sideline instead of in the booth is it doesn't feel like capital N news. It is news. I'm not I'm not saying it's not news. Right, but, but not not only is it news, like the 49ers aren't doing it just for giggles. They right. obviously think Kyle Shanahan thinks there's a reason. Therefore, this right. is a strategic maneuver by the 49ers, is it not? You would hope, but I mean, is this gonna make Steve Wilkes better? I don't know. We're not looking to make Steve Wilkes better. Is it going to make the 49ers better? But that is, if Steve Wilkes is better, then the Niners' defense would Here, be better, I guess I, is what I'm saying. Here, here's an example where I will actually give just a little bit of credence. Like, let me get this out first. No, I don't think the 49ers' defense is suddenly going to be amazing because Steve's down there with the guys right. on the sideline. That's a no from me, dog. I love that. But We need the T-shirts. Here's an example that did come up. We were talking about this earlier today. Um, so I did the show on Monday from home. I saw that solo bolo. It was from your daughter's bedroom. No, I actually did this one from my son's bedroom. Oh, my fault. Yeah, I moved it. I just I, I saw it, it on the YouTube. 
Uh, YouTube.com slash 957thegame. And- well, he's got Niner Blanket and Giants pillows all over okay. his bed, so I figured I could use that as a little bit of a backdrop. Nice. Anyway, whatever. doesn't matter. But point is, it was a short show, and we're leading into a Warrior game, and Bonte with the big announcement of the All-Star game, and all that stuff was going to be on the pregame. So they're like, dude, you don't need to come in for an hour. Just rock it from, from your home. And, uh, and I did. And right as the show started, I got all the COVID feels again. Not like, not meaning I got a cough, but like the internet went out. And so, you, not mine, the stations. YouTube goes down, and I am in my son's bedroom with a microphone and a laptop. And let's find out, is that different than being here in front of this microphone? Right. And the answer is, by the way, for those of you who have never hosted a radio show, it is incredibly different. I do my Fox show from home all the time, um, but this is a little bit different. If you're sitting there solo and you're drafting a point and you're talking things out, YouTube goes down and I can't see Grandy and I can't see Lucas. Oh, that's blissful. And Dibs is cruising around with a stroller Walking through the streets of Moraga. If that, if all that's going on, is there a difference in that I can't look in anyone's eyes? I can't look at the YouTube chat. I am getting zero current feedback about what is happening. I'm talking, but I'm not getting any commands, any like, hey, your mic's a little off. Hey, your take sucks. Uh, hey, um, a dog is barking right behind your head. <laughs> Whatever's going on, I'm getting zero feedback. And that makes what we do harder. Yeah. Steve Wilkes up in the booth has got monitors. He's got play sheets. He's got a headset and a plan. But when, hey, this offensive lineman over here, this is the move he's making and we could go this way. I think that's a little bit of a, a weakness that they're creating. That's a conversation that can happen face-to-face on the sideline that can't happen if you're up in the booth. So couldn't we at least give a little nod to something like that, which I think is what Kyle's talking about. Yeah, he gets that nod, but also the ability to see the All-22 in real time from up above, he won't have that anymore. And obviously, Steve Wilkes has been up in the booth because he likes that view. I don't think Steve Wilkes has been up in the booth because he doesn't want to be around Kyle Shanahan or he doesn't want to talk to his teammates or his his players. I don't think that that's the reason why he's up in the booth. He's up in the booth because he can see the game at that level from that vantage point better, and that can help him in terms of calling the play. So who will be up in the booth now, and will that person be able to relay to Steve what Steve wants to be able to see up there but can't see? From up there, I wonder. And if Steve can now communicate to the linebackers better, and that's what Kyle said that he wants Steve to be able to do, maybe that's what the team actually needs. We're going to find out. But to me, this is a very curious time to figure out what you want your defensive coordinator to be. Curious time, or is it exactly the right time? In other words, um, Kyle always does a review of, of everything through the bye week. And this was one of the things that they would like to change. Here's Kyle on why they're doing it. Just because of the, some of the stuff you do in the box, you know, all the advantages to it, which are great, but I kind of wanted to be down and be near our players a little bit. Uh, they've had that more just with the linebacker communication in the past. And I want him to be down there so he can talk to guys a little bit more. Kyle used to be an offensive coordinator. This comes up with OCs as well as DCs. Uh, he was asked what his preference is when he is calling plays. Uh, I love being in the box. I, um, I think that's the best spot. I feel like you guys would judge me too hard if I went up there. If it ever gets cold enough, I might be. I just I like a chair and a desk and a lot of stuff to write down and things like that. You know, I was I had to do this for nine years before I got here. I was only in the box one year, um, my last year, so I was eight on the field before that. There's pluses and minuses to both, so you should go with your preference. So that's interesting. He's saying he liked being in the box. He's the man in the box. But he's bringing... <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Yeah. Anyway, he thinks... That this, though, is the right move for these players. Like, that's what I heard. Right. It's not about Steve doing something different. He it's thinks, about Fred and Dre. Yeah, is these, what I'm these players are used to that, so let's give them that.
Right. They're used to being able to come off the field and say, Steve, this is what we're seeing. Yep. This is what we think will work. What do you think about that? As opposed to go to the coach to radio up to Steve and then wait for the answer back. So if that's the thing that fits best for the players, then by God, make the switch. And hopefully it works because if you go out and you play another bad defensive game and Steve Wilkes is on the sideline and we talk about, well, maybe Steve should go back up in the box. <laughs> we, we don't want to be be playing I, this game. I guess here, Here's what I guess I'm saying. I'm with you. I don't think this is the big fix. But if we're all going to thumb our noses at it and be like, well, that that's not the problem, well, then who cares? Then there's also no problem in having him down on the sideline, right? Yeah. There's like, if it's a who cares, then it's a who cares. So if Fred's more comfortable with him on the sideline, then put him on the sideline. And if that only helps one tiny iota, why not do it? I mean, here's Brian Baldinger on the roast was asked about this. And uh, listen to his, albeit, dismissive response. Dan Quinn, you know, he coordinates the Cowboys defense. He sits up in a booth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, when I you agree. start, when you start, like, honestly, Bonte, if you start saying, well, is this going to make a difference? Like, if you're thinking about a coach is upstairs or downstairs, <laughs> like, maybe that's the problem right there. You know, not, not that he's upstairs or downstairs. It's like, who gives it? Nobody gives a crap. Right. Like, call the defense. Right. Like, I, you know, if the guy's down the field, honestly, hell, if they, if Shanahan's upstairs calling the plays, call the plays upstairs. Like, it should make a difference. The play's the play. You got to execute the play. I'm with you. And so, you know, I'm sure there, you know, you got the bye week. I'm sure there's all kinds of player only meetings, which is always a problem. But look, they've lost three in a row. By the time they get to the field, the next time, they will not have won a game in a month. I mean, look, so I agree with him, but they're doing it for some reason. And and I would rather look at this and then look at where we were prior to the bye and go, what's going on here? Like, what is going on here between Shanahan and Wilkes? Because it's not right right now. Yeah. Like, that is, that I feel is clear. There's a disconnect. And, you know, clearly the disconnect in Kyle's mind could be helped by having Steve Wilkes come down on the sideline. And if Steve Wilkes can be comfortable calling the game from down there and the players feel better about having him down there and the defense plays better, then that's the fix. But if it doesn't work and Steve Wilkes doesn't want to be down there, well, then the disconnect continues. It's going to work. But it's not going to be because he's on the sideline. 